So guys, it's Cool Story Bro, and today's video, I'm gonna do a unboxing of a PS4, official PS4 gamepad. Now, this is meant to be a rare edition. I was looking on Amazon, and it was fetching for $78.99, which is $79 altogether. I went on eBay and I found it for $27.99, brand new, as you can see, it's in the box. Now, this is not just an unboxing, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use your PS4 game controller on a Windows computer. It says that it does not come with a USB cable, not included, as you can see right there. But as you can see now, this is a USB cable, which is pretty cool because my USB cable is probably going to die pretty soon because every time I connect, it thinks I'm connecting to a microphone and it goes off and on. It's so annoying on the TV all the time saying it's connecting to a microphone when it's not. The reason why I actually bought this gamepad color is because it's so unique. Look at it, it's really nice. I think they call it like a blue berry color. It's got like kind of a purple to a ready color, which is awesome. And that is on the, the balloons, as you can see right there. It's got a protection for the touchpad. So as you can see, this is the official one made by Sony. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually going to hook this up to my MacBook and I'm actually going to be using my uh, cable, which I got off Amazon. I forgot how much it was, but what this basically does is it hooks up to a USB-C and then connects to the PS4 gamepad. Because as you know, the PS4 gamepad does not support usb C, but the PS5 gamepad will support USB-C, which I really can't wait until actually someone makes an application so you can actually use a PS5 gamepad on a, on a Windows computer, because that looks awesome. It's not a, a, a big issue for me because I'm actually, you know, got a USB-C MacBook Pro. So let's hook it up to my MacBook Pro and see if we can actually get this PS4 gamepad working. So here we are right now. This is my Mac running Windows 10. Now what you wanna do the first time is actually get the cable connected to your computer or Mac. And then you wanna connect the PS4 gamepad to the cable, like so. As you can hear, the window notification is telling me it's actually notified the controller and it should shine like a nice blue color. And then what you wanna do is when you've downloaded the application, it will come up like this. So I'm actually gonna zoom in so you can actually see. You don't wanna delete any of them because one is your profile, one is the actions, vertical bus driver, so you wanna keep that in the profile, and of course the updater. Now, you wanna check this roughly once a weekly because sometimes they could fix bugs, but since I've been using this application, I have occurred no bugs whatsoever. What you wanna do is just click on this one, now this will bring this little application up, this little kind of thing, and it will tell you your PS4 gamepad control is connected, which you can see right there. The battery is full, and this is the selected profile. So say if you have about three or four or five or six or even 20 gamepad controllers, you can actually connect every one of them and change them with different light styles. How awesome is that? So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually gonna show you how you can actually change the color of your sensor bar on the PS4 gamepad controller. So the good thing is it gives you options. You can actually customize your own color. If you like being stylish and you want a color that no one's got, you can actually do that, which is awesome. Now for me, I'm actually going to be choosing the colors what it says right there. So if I go to a nice purpley red color, you make sure you press okay. As you can see, beautiful purple red color. Now I'm not actually gonna be choosing that. I'm actually going to be choosing kind of the same color as the gamepad controller itself. There we go, look at that, beautiful. Now, when you finish with all this, you wanna make sure this application is up. You know, you don't wanna close it. Now, this is a useful tip. Now, sometimes when you hear that noise that Windows makes for the notifications, sometimes you think that the controller is actually, connection is lost, but it's not. If you actually minimize your game, say you was in a game, you can actually minimize it, and you can actually see the notification over here, it says, 
one profile default controller has been detected. So when you actually take this out and you hand a notification, it will say the controller one was removed or lost con or connection. So some people do have updates or sometimes your Windows computer does make that noise and you're probably thinking, is it my gamepad controller? If you're really like worried, it says all you have to do is minimize your game and go into the notification center, which is like over here. And then you can actually see if it's connected or if it's not connected. So here we are on GTA Online, as you can see. So I'm gonna actually use the touch bar. Really nice to smooth navigate through the character, around the character, should I say. And I'm gonna use the first person view, which is nice. So let's go and find a car that I like. So analog stick is really smooth. No lag there whatsoever, that's cool. Okay, I like this car, let's get in this car. The good thing is you can use the, the touch bar on the top. Is sometimes when I do Rockstar editing videos, sometimes the mouse cursor, sometimes it's like hard to actually navigate around the car, but this is smooth. This is really nice, as you can see. Just using the, tu the, the touch bar on top of the PS4 gamepad controller. And let's go out and do a little drive. Same buttons as the PS4 version, R2 to accelerate and L2 to do a handbrake and circle to view different views of your car. So let's get out of the first person view. You could use this, but of course I wanna use this. It's really nice, look at that, really smooth. And even when you're driving, you can just look around your car, which is nice. So there's no lag. Like it says in previous applications I've been using, there's a lot of lag. But with this one, there's no lag whatsoever, which is awesome. Now I was thinking, how would I be able to start my CEO missions? And you're probably thinking, okay, where's the button? So that button does that. That button is a pause. And I just realized it's a trick. What you have to do is hold this share button, like so, and the, the interaction menu will appear. So you can actually set up your CEO if you wanted to like that. And then you tap it again, and you can retire from your CEO. And you can do everything in your you know, intro, what you do on GTA Online, which is cool. So when you don't double tap it, it acts as a, a different view, like so. But what you need to do is hold it down and you see your interaction menu. So that's why I, I tried GTA Online, because I thought, how do I, you know, do that? So that's how you do that. So this button, PlayStation logo button, acts as the recorder. So say if you're a streamer on Twitch or YouTube, YouTuber like me, you can actually record, which is pretty cool if you wanted to. So that's cool, so you press that again, looks fine. So everything is working really awesome. There's no lag whatsoever. It's just like I'm playing it on a PS4 uh, console, but I'm not, I'm playing it on my MacBook Pro on Bootcamp Windows 10. So I'm gonna do right now, just actually gonna go really fast and jump out my car. There we go. So there was no lag on that, that's so cool, which is cool. Whoa, nearly got hit by a car then. And looking around like, you know, aiming. Yeah, it's just roughly the same as the PS4. Like you would actually be playing this game on the PS4 version. And like it says, let's do, you know, where sometimes I like choosing different weapons, as you know, in GTA, 
there's so many weapons to choose from now. So let's set like that. And then I wanted to go like that. And I wanted to use my other sniper. And say I wanted to use the gun. And there we go. That's pretty fast, pretty fluid, pretty smooth. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna test out the guns, like sh shooting, and to see how it is, if there's no lag on that. So I've just loaded a survival. I think it's the best way to actually test out the guns instead of just shooting innocent people. I thought this will be the best way. So here we go in a survival. If you are subscribed to my YouTube, you should already know that I love this one because it's so easy to do, fan trick. So let's just do it on this video. So as you know, you go up here doo -doo 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 -doo, and on this roof, just stay there, keep on shooting them. So I'm just gonna test out the guns. Here we go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And let's do like a, you know, a dive, a dock. There we go. Yeah, really nice and fluid, no delay there. Cool, I love it. Yeah, I just feel like I'm playing it on my PS4 uh, console. That's how awesome it feels, you know. So yeah, PS4 gamepad works. Every button works that you use, you know. I've had no issues since you've been watching me on this. All you have to do is download that application, get a PS4 gamepad controller, of course, and you can use it with your Windows computer to play your awesome games on your PC, which is cool. Okay, let's do a let's do a swap on my guns right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try and jump off this building. Yeah, that's cool. No lag there. The reason why I'm saying like says, I'm gonna pull it out there again is because I've tested so many applications and sometimes there's import lag. And people hate that because when you press the button, you want it to do the action. But with this application, there's no such thing as that. You know, it's running pretty sweet. Everything I'm, I'm pressing, pr pr pressing, pressing, is working fine, you know? So let's try and change my guns. There we go, look at that. Whee! Really nice. Okay, let's go in first person view. Press the wrong button. It's because I'm used to the PlayStation. There we go. So yeah. Oops, my bad. So yeah, everything is running completely fine. You know, like I said, I just feel like I'm on my PS4. So hopefully guys, you enjoy this video. Um, any questions, let me know. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description. And if you are getting a PS5, you know, don't get rid of it. If you've got a PC, or like I says, an iPad or an iPhone, and you want to play games on that, you can actually use the PS4 gamepad on that. But for, for this, this is awesome. And all you have to do is download that application, make sure it's up and running, and you're good to go. And with the USB C cable, I'll try and put that in the link if I can find it in my Amazon cart or my Amazon um, purchase history. I'll put that in the link as well. So it's running on the, as you know, running on a USB C. And of course, with a normal one, you can hook it up with your normal Windows computer and still play it with that application. So there's two ways to do it. If you've got a USB-C computer or Mac like I have, you're good to go. All you have to do is buy this cable and make sure it hooks up with the PS4 gamepad controller. And if you haven't got a normal, normal USB, it's easy, just plug it in, make sure it's connected to your PS4 gamepad controller and you're good to go. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully enjoy. And yeah, that is how you use your PS4 gamepad working on Windows 10 computer. Thanks for watching.